To mark the one-month anniversary of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida that killed 17 people, students nationwide walked out of their classrooms to remember the victims and call for an end to gun violence. At Las Cruces High School, students held a moment of silence for 17 minutes, one minute to honor each of the victims. Senior Angelica Avalos says seeing hundreds of her classmates show up to support the movement means the world to her and shows her she isn't alone. There's only a few people around the school who have spoken up about anything like this and for there to be an event to see even more people than I had anticipated come out today meant the world to me because it means people care. Even if it's not here, even if it's in Florida, people still care. Avalos says she has a personal connection to gun violence. She says her distant cousin was one of the two students killed in the Aztec high school shootings last December. Although I didn't know her well, that was still my blood spilt that day. And that was very hard for me personally. It changed my whole outlook on gun violence, on everything. It changed how I felt about coming to school every morning. Not everyone held signs with messages like no more and enough. A group of students carried signs supporting the Second Amendment. Junior and NRA member Denny Ashley says banning guns won't help make schools safer. They're going to try to push their uh, beliefs that the guns should be banned, which is a perfectly fine belief. That's their belief and we respect that. But we also want to make sure that our beliefs is respected as well and the fact that we're not going to sacrifice the Second Amendment because they think it'll make school safer. It won't make school safer to get rid of guns. Avalos says she understands the issue goes deeper than guns and supports stronger background checks and spreading awareness for mental illness. She also supports her classmates' right to counter-protest. They have the exact same rights we do and they have the right to speak their mind. I'm not saying that we should go and take guns away. I don't believe that. I just believe that they should be harder to get. I believe they have their opinions and we have ours, and even if they don't exactly line up, I feel we could come to an agreement somewhere in the center. Leaders of the Las Cruces Student Advisory Council, a group of students from area high schools who give input to the city's Board of Education, did not support the walkout, but members of the school board did attend to show their support. Board member Maria Flores says she feels very strongly about students speaking out for what they believe. I was born in East L.A. and there were walkouts when I was a little girl and I felt that that impacted my life because I realized that we all have a voice. So whether you're pro or against, it's a voice and everybody needs to be heard. So that's what I value. Avalos says she believes having students nationwide participate in the walkouts sends a message to legislators in Washington, D.C. that students have a voice and are making themselves heard. I believe that this shows them, um, like, we're here. We're not adults yet and some of us are going to be able to vote soon, but we're in high school, we're the students being affected, and we're here to say something about it. And we're not going to stand down until changes are made. Those changes are starting to happen. The Florida legislature recently passed restrictions that include raising the minimum age to purchase firearms to 21 years old. For KRWG, I'm Michael Hernandez.